Hi, I'm Andy DeBillis for NETV in Athens, Greece for the EU Conference on Anti-Doping. With me is uh, Mr. Ralph René Weingartner from the Council of Europe for the Director of Youth and Sport. A very apt position for you uh, because now uh, uh, the young people are beginning more and more to see role models that aren't so much role models. How can the Council of Europe intervene to show the young people that what counts in sports is performance and not enhancement? Okay. Uh, we are now starting, and we have started very successfully, an enlarged partial agreement on sport, which is exactly focused not only on the uh, professional sport, but very much on sports for all, and on using sports as a tool for enforcing civil society actors and using sport as a tool against social inc uh, exclusion, uh, against racism, against anti-Semitism, and to, to see the positive role sport can play. So it's more than just doping, it's, it's, it's the whole set of values. It's the whole sports. set of values. Doping, mm -hmm. of course, to fight doping, to yes. fight spectator violence, where we have our two conventions mm -hmm for our 47 member states or in sport, we are even uh, 49. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there uh, we uh, try to fight the negative aspects, but we think it is as important to uh, underline the positive aspects, if not more important, because sport can contribute enormously to uh, enforce the core values of the Council of Europe, human rights, the rule of law, and democracy. How do, how do you overcome the deluge, though, of, of glamour that goes with success in sports? And in the United States, we've seen even Major League Baseball players using steroids with, with impunity. Uh, do you fear that's encroaching into the European sports and that European youth might seize that as more important than what you're talking about? I think this is a, a, a danger, of course, mm -hmm. but I think uh, this is the danger which is making the headlines. But the headlines in the newspapers, in the news, in the media, is not so much these 400 million Europeans who perform sport on a daily basis, the young people. Who, not, not professionals. Uh, uh, who, who, yes. Not professionals, yes. who as first experience to, to join some kind of association, join a sport club. And I think this needs to be more, uh, not only used and in a positive way exploited, but this also needs to be more reported about to also have young people to, to see this as as you told us, uh, a role model and as, as a positive example. Okay.